So, um, again, as many said, we don't know each other that well. I've, I've gotten a lot of education and introduced to a lot of people in the uh, last two weeks, which is great, and I'll talk about that. Here's a little bit about myself, um, um, and, uh, you know, you can read it yourself, but I'll, and I'll just summarize it. I've been very, I've been involved with uh, some of the emerging technology for the last 20 years. I've been a podiatrist now for uh, actually 40 years. I am re, uh, semi-retired, but I'm very involved with the profession. Um, when I say emerging technology, I'm looking for uh, quality procedures and products that uh, first benefit the patient and um, help the patient and are effective. And I, and I really think Onufix fits into that mold. Uh, it's, uh, I, I'm just, uh, there's great opportunity here, which I'll go into more about uh, as, I, as I continue here. Now, one thing I'll tell you, this could be the shortest presentation you've ever listened to. I'm not the type that lectures for three hours. Sometimes you may, I may get a little bit off and give you my feelings about it. I don't like reading word for word on a slide, but this could be one of the most important so keep an open mind. Uh, I think I have a lot of my uh, colleagues, U.S. podiatrists, uh, on the line that I've invited to this. Uh, they know me uh, through my Remy laser for ESWT, micro drilling. I think we have a real good one here, friends. Um, the ingrown toenail. Um, you know, that's one thing. I don't know who we have on the line. We have podiatrists, chiropodists. And remember the word chiropodist. Uh, it's something I'm going to make some very interesting comments about. Nail technicians. If it wasn't for the nail techs, uh, uh, my friend and colleague, Lori uh, Duchesne, uh, I wouldn't be talking tonight. So uh, there's lots of people. We're all coming together because we all have one thing in common. We all treat ingrown toenails. Your foot care nurses, the ingrown toenail. Um, it's a simple thing but uh, it's something that we now have an opportunity to treat. It's one of the uh, complaints that we see all the time uh, in our practice, in our clinic, in our salon. It's why a lot of people come and visit us. This is a little bit about demographics. By the way, I won't use the medical terminology, onychocryptosis. I think ingrown toenail is fine. I always use words that the, uh, the public understands. And uh, I mean, the typical ingrown toenail has pain, swelling, redness, sometimes infection. Um, it's very uncommon. As podiatric physicians in the United States, we treat 65% uh, of toenail problems, which is very interesting. Uh, why don't we treat 100%? Why aren't we like a dentist that uh, when you have a cavity, you go to the dentist? And, I, and, and again, I may sidetrack a little bit with this in that, um, yeah, why don't we treat all, all of them? Why don't we treat 100% uh, of ingrown toenails? And and I, I have a, a a theory of that, and that's um, maybe our treatments aren't the best in the world. Maybe people don't want to come. Why do people do bathroom surgery? Uh, mo in podiatry, most of the uh, uh, patients we see, they come when they're in a lot of pain, and uh, that you know, or when it's red, swollen. I mean, I used to do those all day long uh, when I was in practice. So my, my point is you have to have procedures that are effective. And I think Onico uh, uh, Fix meets that criteria. There's many studies. There's a great study in this. I'm not going to go into the study. If anybody wants to see it, I'm very happy to email it to them. But my point is that who wants to come to a practice and get a needle? It's just like in heel pain. Who wants to come and get a steroid injection to take medicines? I just want you to think about this. I think we have a, an opportunity for a new uh a new change of thinking. The treatments, we all know this, but I'm just going to briefly go over this. Uh, I hope that during the question and answer period, somebody can, we can add to this. This is more of an open discussion, whether me just lecturing to you. Uh, the, the typical treatments are mild, uh, you know, uh, so mild amount soaking. I do think most ingrown tenors are caused by, uh, are self-induced. Poor shoes, cutting nails wrong, uh, you name it. The severe, very painful one, typically in the United States, it's numb it up with a local anesthetic, either remove a part of it uh, or a matricectomy. My experience is with the partial or total matricectomy. I've always felt that if you put a needle in the toe and you numb it up, the most effective or chance of getting rid of it uh, where it doesn't come back again is the matricectomy. And we can debate that, but that's my experience. And most of the colleagues I've talked to, if you're going to numb the toe up, 
what's the big deal of taking a little piece out? But it's the numbing up. Uh, it's not a panacea. You know, uh, you think uh, it's it's one and done, and this is just a short. By the way, I got to tell you, I prepared this in one hour, this uh, uh, PowerPoint two hours ago. Uh, it's 40 years of experience. Uh, I hope people I can add to this when we have our discussion, but I think I've covered it pretty well. And you know, a matricectomy, um, you can get reoccurrence. You can have more pain. You can get infection. You can get loss of the nail. The nail could fall off. You know, I look on the YouTube today and I see there's so many matricectomies being done on, on these uh, channels. And the one thing I noticed in common is, and it just makes me cringe, is when they're taking out the side of the nail, they never hold down the nail. And I'm just amazed at how many times they could actually microtrauma the, the, the nail that they're not cutting away and cause fungal infections. Uh, this is something that we can avoid. So we must be able to treat or have the ability or have another tool to treat without surgery or needles. My father was a chiropodist. Uh, I got the really, uh, I, I did an interview this morning on uh, Jonathan. He's the, uh, the tow bro from Canada. Had a very, very interesting conversation with him over the last couple of days and that his father was a chiropodist. My father was a chiropodist. An interesting thing, and, and think about this. You know, when we go to podiatry school, we're all surgeons. My, my uh, chiropody um, background came from working with my father and also going into these uh, clinics that I worked at when I was doing my residency. We all wanted to be that, you know, big surgeon, but you know, it's a new beginning. Maybe we need to go back to our roots learn the the DSC approach, doctor of surgical chiropractic. My father could take a little blade. I was trying to think of the name of the blade. He could take out a whole side without getting a drop of blood or numbing the toe up. And I think that's a very important skill to learn and know, depending whether you're a chiropodist or whether whatever healthcare professional, it's a very important thing. Uh, it, it's gonna help in your ability. Because my, my feeling is that, uh, uh, I want to focus on not only the chronic problem, and I'll go over the indications that I feel uh, are very appropriate. It'll expand with more time. Uh, each time I think about it, it'll expand. Uh, it, it does expand. I'll give you an example when we get to that part. Um, so, but you have to learn how to treat the acute, the acute complaint. And I'll tell you, if you go back and you look at, um, and I, in the end, uh, well, we can do it right now. As I was sitting here waiting, there's a there's a picture showing that this is coming on. It's it's in the past, but it shows it was on when you were waiting, and it showed a very bad paranychia, both borders of an ingrown toenail. And I'm waiting for somebody to say because I've had comments from my colleagues, it takes too long for this, or uh, you know, uh, how do you get them out of pain? And, and we can address that. There's a very bad ingrown toenail, and I was looking at it while I was waiting, and this is what thought popped in my head. You know, if we had Oniofix. Maybe the, maybe the patient wouldn't stick uh, and, and do bathroom surgery. Maybe they want to come to the podiatrist because you have an effective procedure. It's painless. It's affordable, very affordable to, to not only to the practice, but to the patient. My point is we may uh, cut down on, uh, on the bathroom surgery because uh, with proper education, they may want to come. It's all going to be based on the education. Education is very, very important. So, you know, the reason why I'm even talking about this is because you need to have something that does deliver outcomes and is very cost effective to the patient, which I mentioned. It has to be evidence-based. I was very impressed with the, uh, um, the, the uh, evidence-based studies that were done in Denmark and Germany. I did have the privilege and honor to talk to the owners and the people that did the studies. Uh, I've learned more in, uh, in two weeks you know, it's exciting because I get to learn about a new procedure. But what attracted me to this was that it's a non-invasive, non-surgical procedure where you can, you have the potential, not in 100% of the cases. There's no one, just like there's no one bunion procedure that, uh, technique that does everything. But can you, I mean, I'm visualizing the patient will come in and uh, you can have them put their shoe right back on and, re and reduce their, their pain or eliminate their pain almost immediately without putting a needle in their toe. And we're talking about the US market, you know, you have, and we're talking about podiatry, you get in the nail salons, they actually get to see, that's a whole different market, uh, or, and they do overlap. And the nail salon, they get to see the patient a lot of times before it's, uh, you know, tore up, for lack of a better word. And the nice thing about this, this procedure is that it's very profitable for the practice. Unfortunately, you know, we have to pay our bills. That's uh, just a fact of life. And um, 
you know, you can't today, you can't spend thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars on technology and wait for years to get a, um, uh, a return on investment. And that's why I've been involved with the Remy laser, which has uh, been my, still is my baby uh, for the last two years. Cause I, I have a, I'm not going to go much into it, but I'm taking that philosophy of having something one, it's effective two, it's affordable to the patient and there's a good return on investment and the on effects really fits into it and more and more the more is no surgery there's a potential and a significant amount of uh and i'm going to go into that area because i like i said not tonight but i did uh get to interview the tobro who has almost a, about seven or eight uh he was trained in germany uh and uh, and there's other practitioners I'm, I'm meeting more and more and more it's amazing that you can have a uh, a mentor you can uh, and i'm going to help you find mentors help you get the knowledge my whole goal tonight is uh and we'll talk about my little su surprise for you in present uh just to show you that uh i'm behind you we'll talk about that a little bit later so there's going to be q and a's i just want to tell you it's not going to be all me talking now here's uh i just made a list i found another one and maybe you can the list is endless but to me in the u.s podiatry is i hate needles i hate needles i gotta tell you i i i mean fortunately i have great teeth but I hate needles. I have to just get my teeth cleaned. I have to have nitrous oxide. There's a lot of people. Can you imagine if you can offer an opportunity to patients that do not, remember I told you, there's a lot of people that do bathroom surgery, dig it out. They don't come to the podiatrist. They go somewhere else and try something else. Uh, but this is an option. If they know about it, they may show up in your office. It's not, you talk about your existing patients, but I'm talking about opening up uh, your market. And the beauty of this one is that your market can really open up in most cases because it's not a procedure that needs to be and typically in multiple, multiple sessions. It's five minutes. You put it on and every case is different. You know, I'm just talking generally speaking, but this is pretty generally speaking. And the patient can leave and go somewhere. I mean, when, when I used to do ESWT, the beauty of it was that I had patients flying from all over the country because it was one time and possibly in six months and they need another one. And, and and this, it's ver I mean, wow. I mean, I get, I just think about wow. We have another procedure that could fit into that dynamic. Then you get into the other section. I mean, most podiatrists are trained three and four year residents. It's a whole new generation. They see diabetics, people that are poor healing. Um, uh, I don't know this statistic, but I'm, I'm sure there's a huge statistic where the ingrown toenail created the loss of the toe. Created it. Ulcers are another big one, but. I'm not sure what that statistic is, but it's definitely something there, uh, you know, and you're avoiding, uh, you know, severe complications. Trust me, I've had some uh, ingrown toenail surgeries um, be a real pain in the ass with healing. It's not a, it's not a, it's not always a cakewalk, not always. So you can look at the, the, the various, um, you know, indications. I had one I thought of the other day is that, uh, I used to use a lot of oral lamisil for onychomycosis when I was in practice, a lot, very good procedure, but there's a high reoccurrence. And one of the complications I saw was uh, it got, that as it got better, they got an ingrown toenail because the nail bed flattened down and it changed and uh, they got an ingrown toenails. So you can put the onofix on every onychomycotic nail that you treat for onychomycosis to change the shape and position of the nail and also to protect the toe from getting an ingrown toenail. I mean, it's it's not a major procedure. It's just an additional procedure. Because I've had patients get pissed at me, doc, my nail looks great. Why do I have this ingrown toenail? The vision is, it, it can be endless. But to me in the United States, it's, tr it's trying to uh, bring more patients in for treatments because they like them and, uh, and, 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 and avoid pain and needles because patients don't like needles. And I just want to give you a real quick example because I've been training. I still train orthopedic uh, surgeons, full body ESWT. Not everybody might uh, know this. Uh, I saw where Marlene Reed was on. Hi, Marlene. How are you? But Marlene was with me from day one when we started doing ESWT together. And you learn over time. And what and what I found out was it's, it's interesting. And I'll re if I haven't if I said this already, I'm going to repeat it again. Podiatrists treat a lot of plantar fasciitis. And I and I want I, every time I to, to, I do a course I ask them this how many pay, how, what percentage of the total market do podiatrists treat plantar fasciitis? 
Is it 50%? Is it 25%? Is it 5%? Is it 9%? Well, most of them will say 40, 50% because you're, you see it all day long. It's only 9%. I got that from Barry Block at Podiatry Management years ago. So what does that tell you? Maybe our treatments aren't that good. Maybe the patients avoid podiatry because they're going to get a shot. They're going to get uh, anti-inflammatories. Uh, they're going to get that orthotic that they don't really understand. I'm not against orthotics. But the point is, I'm trying to say, is that you can bring a whole um, – another market in i'm not saying change your whole practice overnight and put onica fix on everybody but it'll i I'm just want you to think about how you can expand your practice we're in a new world right now where we have the opportunity to um to to expand and even be better than we ever were and that's going back to your basics and making better which is the ingrown toenail so i can move this a little bit so how does onica fix work um well, it really changes. It changes as the nail grows. It's uh, one of the things I've learned. There was a teacher of mine named Harvey Lamont. Uh, he taught. Uh, he's a podiatrist. He taught the Temple School of Podiatry, which was the Pennsylvania School. And uh, you know, I've never done this survey, but I've talked to some very smart podiatrists that think that every nail, ingrown toenail, uh, it's because the matrix is damaged, or onychomycosis or fungus toenail is because the matrix is damaged. But Harvey wrote a paper many years ago. Uh, and taught this in a school, because I know him personally, and we used to have many discussions. Fungus toenails, uh, it's not the matrix. I mean, if you injure it and smash it, it could be. It's coming from the nail bed in the shape of it and the nail. So it's just like a retainer uh, or, or braces. You can change the shape of the nail as it grows out. I just want you to think about that, because everybody says, how does that work without pressure or this or that? Well, there's a thing called Davis's Law, Wolf and Davis. Go look it up again, Davis's wall, it deals with soft tissue. So do we need, uh, do you go, I mean, I've had the podiatrist, I gotta go out and test this and see if it works. Well, they have the studies already. The beauty of this is it's the, the testing and the clinical work has been going on way before you, I even knew the word onofix, and you even knew the word onofix. It's, it's, it's been tested. Sure, you should test it out. Personally, I would put it on, patients and not even charge them just you got to get started you know you got to get started and my goal is to bring uh clinicians that have the experience and tell you about their experience and show your experience i'm hoping to put together videos of, of uh patients that have had it done that's when you'll know it and it's interesting about marketing is that the best way to market something is a video of yourself explaining it but the better is the patient showing that they had it and how they did with it, because patients can relate to that. So the opportunity, I mean, I love, this is an exciting opportunity, uh, and I'm gonna help you uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Your practice, you need to learn to give patients what they need and also what they want. Uh, my company called Zuckerman Future Technology, uh, you know, I'm here to help guide you, direct you, get as much information and get it out to uh, the people I know and the people I'm, I'm starting to know, uh, you got to learn to stop the pain now. Okay, that's very key, especially in podiatry. Uh, I, uh, most of this is going to be patients that are coming in and they're going to be in pain. And just the product itself, uh, from what I've told and, and the people that and and, and I believe them, uh, is and you should try it on your own. If you get a patient with an ingrown toenail, you know, a nail spicule, put put the product on. Just put it on the painful area, and, and and it makes sense. You'll see a retraction. It will retract it and separate it because it does retract. Um, and I promise to guide you through these products, show you the products, but uh, you got to start now. That's the key. Opportunity doesn't uh, necessarily uh, – you can lose the opportunity. Um, there's a great opportunity for this in podiatry. It's already in Canada. So in the new medical world that we're in, evidence-based treatments – have to be cost effective. They got to be, and this one, Onifix, is applied one treatment and it lets your practice grow and expand. I was talking to the Topo, he does at least one or two a day. Uh, and you're not limited from a marketing standpoint just to your practice. Again, I go back to the ESWT experience I had. I treated patients from all over the world because they could fly in, have it done, and you have that opportunity right now. If you want to be on the cutting edge, you can have patients coming from everywhere. Like I tell you, it's nice to have a procedure that you don't have to invent, it's there. 
you know, uh, and I'll show you that it's there because I interviewed people, doctors. I will bring you the things that you need to do. And the first thing you do is you got to get proper training. I'm shocked that the, uh, I don't know what's going on here. I missed something here. I'm sorry. Got this. I'm sorry. So I interviewed uh, the Jonathan, the Tobra. That will be coming out within the next uh, four or five days. It's an interview about him, his experience, who he is. Uh, I find him to be a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, and give you his experience on it. And there'll be other people that I'll be bringing in. Uh, so you don't have to go run around. But you need a mentor. Uh, and you don't have all the time where you can go find people. When I started out in practice, I used to travel to, to practices up at, to learn things. I'm going to bring that to you so you don't, I mean, you, you got to focus on your practice right now. You can't be focusing on on going here, going there. I want uh, my colleagues as uh, podiatrists in the United States to rely on me to bring bring this to you. And, of course, you make your own decision. But I'll tell you, uh, this one is a good one. So... Again, find your mentor. The definition of an expert is somebody that stops learning. I'm always learning. I'll tell you a funny thing today. I was talking to, uh, I call him the toe bro, Jonathan. I said, um, it's to shock me. I said, yeah, so you put the UV light on it. He says, it's not a UV light. You cure this. It cures it and it, and it hardens it and it breaks it. For lack of a word, it's a composite. Uh, it's not Carryflex. I could talk about Carryflex all. It's different than Carryflex. I was with Carryflex from day one. And uh, good product, I had a lot of problems when it would come off, fall off. Uh, it took way too long to use. And if you had a small practice, especially in Manhattan, uh, uh, you know, where space is important, or you have a small office, you don't have the time to spend 30, 40 minutes on a carry flex. This is five minutes. It's five minutes. And that's, re that's, really, that's very, very important. So what I found out is the curing, it's a, UV, it's a LED light. And my first thing is I need to find out what the LED light is because LED is very effective uh, and has been used uh, for photodynamic therapy. It's been used for um, uh, treatment of fungus just by itself. And, and the people that have my Remy laser, I mean, I, I envision of adding the uh, autofix along with the laser. So you're correcting the shape of the nail and also treating the fungus. A lot of potential, a lot of potential. So my special offer to you is I really appreciate listening uh, to me tonight. Um, I hope you get something out of it. I'm always here if you have questions or comments. Uh, there's nothing you really can say to me that's going to flip me out. You know, not everybody's going to grab onto this. I've had some naysayers, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But my bonus is the first U.S. podiatrist who sign up for Onofix. I'm going to pay for your training. I want you to get the training. I've seen the training. I've seen it. it's it, you go, it's an, it's about two hours, but it's worth it to take a look at it. Worth it. The quality of the training. I mean, uh, I, the one that I have two people assigned to me. One is uh, an RN foot care nurse, and like wow, I couldn't believe uh, the cameras that were on this. I felt like it was right next to me. You're going to get quality training again. You can have a great product, effective, but if you don't have the proper support. And uh, Manny, uh, his support has been amazing, uh, amazing. The people, I'm just starting to learn the people that are behind Nuremberg. I'm, I'm like shocked. I mean, it's, uh, I think, we, I know we have a winner here. So with that, I'm going to end it. If uh, Manny, you can take over. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, um, again, the first 10 podiatrists, you have my email. Email, I'll, I have four already in there, but it's going to be 10 plus the four. I've had four people call me in the last uh uh, two days and they're in it, but it's 10, 10 plus four. So we're 10 from tonight. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Zuckerman. Um, I guess if there are any questions, please type them into the chat box. There's uh, quite a few people on this webinar tonight, so it might be easier than talking over each other. I can start with one request. It was from Karen. Uh, she was asking that you go back to slide 10 for a second. I'll try. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. Hold on. I think I'm there. Okay, hold it. Got it. Okay, hopefully, Karen. That's is the right is slide. Or can you elaborate on this one a little bit more? Well, I wrote here, I'm telling you, I'm not an expert. I, nobody's an expert. That's the part. Um, 
uh, again, I, I think I've repeated this a couple times, but I'll repeat it again. And that's, um, you have a great product, but you need support from a, a company that has experience. Uh, Nurburg's been out in the market for a long, long time. Uh, I've been introduced to the owners. He actually, I developed the uh, in Denmark, I developed the technology. I've been, I have had rent many great products, but the support from the companies that were behind it were poor. Not many, I had one particular one, uh, and it was a headache for me. Great product, great technology, but you gotta have the support team. That's so important. And uh, I hope I'm answering the correct question. Uh, the visionary, um, I'm a visionary. I, is that the correct, uh, have I helped any, anybody more on that particular uh, slide? 